blasting supercharged gas into a water-filled trench below the launch pad and rising on a pillar of fire, NASA's space shuttle will attempt to make its 136th and final launch on Friday, July 8th. As the shuttle races around planet Earth at 17,000 miles per hour, more than 7,000 people at the Kennedy Space Center will be preparing for unemployment in the coming weeks and months. You know, some of them will make that decision that they're going to move to another community, they're going to follow uh, you know, another company, um, but there are a lot of high-tech opportunities in Central Florida. Titusville, Florida, sits just a few miles from the Kennedy Space Center. Over 35% of the employees live in the town, and many of the engineers, technicians, computer programmers, and office workers have already left. We have had, uh, the last couple of years, about 15,000 people that have been processing and launching the space shuttle and the space station elements here at Kennedy Space Center. We're going to go down to about 8,200 employees that uh, after we finish completing that last flight. Inside this barber shop, in the shadow of the space center, residents, they're worried about the immediate impacts this is all having on their economy. Well, that's devastated and already, you know, just the trickle down of, uh, of employment to places like this, like barbershop, gas stations, to grocery stores, to restaurants, the whole, the whole business. We're not going to find a 7,000 member company that's going to suddenly fall out of the sky and, and uh, employ all these people, but we're going to do it 50 and 100 and 200 jobs at a time. Down the coast, on the beautiful hotel-lined beaches of Cocoa Beach, nearly a million people are expected. This is a major boost to the already down economy in the area. And after three decades of shuttle exploration here on Florida's space coast, some are saying that this area is going through an identity crisis. I think we will go through a downturn that comes to the, at, with the end of the shuttle, and it'll be a sharp downturn as, as a number of people get laid off. But we'll come out of that valley, and it'll take time to do that. Up and down the Space Coast are the shells of a once vibrant region and shuttle program. Space Florida and Cape Canaveral thinks the area will be an epicenter by 2020 for aerospace companies to conduct business, bringing back the jobs and billions of dollars. They hope. There will be a lot of um, an increase in adventure tourism and companies conducting research that are flying uh, research payloads to low Earth orbit. On a coast known for attracting shuttle and space enthusiasts, the clock is ticking on the next bold move for space exploration. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Cape Canaveral, Florida.